Hello and welcome to my studio. In this video I'm going to show you how I made this picture. This demonstrates the impact a good graduated background can make on an image. And the foreground subject is lit to produce a classic light dark light effect. Now in this video I'll show you exactly how I did it. OK, so what I've got set up so far uh, are the sunflowers uh, just on this table and I've put a tripod uh, just in front of them here and I'm going to be using uh, this uh, DSLR which is tethered into Capture One software. On the top of the camera here I have a flash sync trigger. Now this is also capable of controlling the energy in the flashes uh, and I'm using a 24 to 70 uh, zoom lens on the front of the camera. OK, so I'll just pop the camera on this tripod that and without any flash uh, and just with the camera settings as they are at the moment I'm just going to grab an image. Okay so with uh, the camera settings of 1 30th of a second at an uh, aperture of 2.8 100 ISO uh, I'm getting a, a reasonable image really just with the uh, the house lights in the studio. Now to stop this contaminating the actual image that I'm going to capture with flash uh, I need to alter these settings. So I'm going to take the shutter speed up to the flash sync speed for this camera which is 1 250th of a second like that and I'm going to change the aperture to a more reasonable um, f8 just like that. So with these new settings, I'll just grab another image. There, and we can see that uh, with these uh, new settings, there is no image, so there'll be no contamination from the house lights when we're using the flash. OK, so the first thing that I'm going to sort out is a background. Now the background is going to be a piece of card, and I'm going to place it about here somewhere. So that will be about two metres away from the camera and about a metre away from the, uh, the back of the subject. To support that, I'm going to use a C-stand. So here we are, just place this C-stand about here somewhere. Uh, and then I'll just get a piece of card and put it on the arm of the stand. So I'll just slot the card on with these clamps, just holding it in position like that. There we go. So I'll just check that in the viewfinder, just to make sure that uh, everything is in about the right place. So that looks about right. Uh, I'm just going to uh, zoom that in a little, uh, just so that the background fills the frame. Something like that. So that's into uh, about 70 uh, millimetres on the lens. We'll just have a look around the image, just to see if it's in focus properly which I think it is. OK, so with that uh, done, the next thing I'm going to do is just light the background. I'm going to start at the back of this composition and work my way forwards. So this is what I'm going to be using to light the background. This is a Profoto B1X. Uh, this is a battery-powered uh, 500 joule uh, studio head. Uh, and what I'm going to do with this is just place it just to one side of the piece of card, just like that, and just pointing at the card. So I'll just turn that on. And just with an arbitrary energy level, I'll just grab an image and see what that looks like. So straight out of the, uh, out of the blocks there, that doesn't look too bad at all. I can see that the card is actually not quite in the right place. So what I'm going to do uh, is just move that over ever so slightly. So let's just do that. And we'll just grab another image just to see if that's moved over enough. There we are, that's much better. You can see there's no stripe down this side now. This is what we had before and this is what we've got now. Okay. So that's probably good enough 
uh, for now. We're going to have to do some fine tuning on that uh, a little later. But the next thing I want to do is set up the, the main light. Uh, and for that, what I'm going to do is just use another head about here somewhere, uh, just illuminating these from the side. Here we are. Now this time I'm using a Profoto D2. This is a 1000 joule uh, mains powered studio head. And on the front of this, I have a 2 foot by 2 foot softbox. So I'm just going to start by uh, placing this back here somewhere. And it is lined up uh, more or less with the back of the subject. So most of the softbox is in front of the subject. And this is about, what, maybe half a metre away from the subject. OK. So what I'll do now is I'll turn off this light uh, and just have this one illuminating the subject so we can evaluate it for exposure, etc. So I'll just turn off that head, like that. And we'll just take an image to grab some form of exposure. OK, so you can see there's quite a lot going on uh, in this particular uh, capture. The exposure is probably a little high uh, and the light is in nowhere near the right place. Uh, we've got quite a lot of spill onto the background and we're not getting a great deal of fall off across the front of the, uh, the subject. OK, so both of those things can be remedied at the same time quite simply, just by moving this closer to the subject. Therefore, the uh, inverse square law, the fall off of the light, will be much greater because this will be much closer to the subject. Uh, and also, because this is closer to the subject, I'll be able to turn the energy down, which will stop a lot of the contamination on the background. So let's just move that in a bit. There we go. I'll pop it about there and we'll see if that's uh, in the field of view, which I think it probably will be. I think that's possibly a little too close. But I'll just have a look through the viewfinder and we'll just see. Yes, I can see that the back edge of the softbox is just encroaching on the right hand side of the image. So I'm just going to spin the light round ever so slightly until it's out of the way, like that. OK, so with that done, now obviously I've moved this quite a lot closer. Uh, therefore, I'm going to need to turn the energy down uh, in this head. So what I'll do is just select the head uh, and just take maybe two stops off that, like so. And we'll give that another test. There we are, that's quite a lot better. Um, still uh, a bit bright, I think. I'm going to take another stop off. But you can see that the background has got quite considerably darker than it was before. This is what we had before, and this is what we've got now. And that was achieved mostly by moving the light. So the position of the light is very, very important. Uh, I'm just going to take that stop off. And we'll just grab another image, just to see what the exposure is like now. There, that's much better. Uh, so we've got some nice tones in here. Uh, I think that's uh, a pretty good exposure. Uh, I'm just going to zoom in, and we'll just have a look at where the focus is. I can see that the very front of this is slightly out of focus. And the very back is slightly out of focus. It's very slight, but it's enough to be annoying, I think. OK, so what I'm going to do is increase the aperture from f8 to um, what f16, which will give me uh, a bigger depth of field. But it will also require uh, two stops more energy uh, in the flash. So I'll just add two stops to the flash and we'll try that again. Good. Now you can see that there is very little difference in exposure between the two images. However, if I zoom in, 
there's quite a lot of difference in the focus. If you look at the petals at the very front here, I go to the previous image, uh, you can see that they're out of focus, and in this one, they're in, and right at the very back, uh, this one, uh, this spike seems to be quite nicely in focus, and here it's quite a long way out. So that seems to have worked quite well. OK, so with this one more or less set, uh, what I'll do now is just turn the background light back on, and we'll do a bit of fine-tuning. So I'll select that head, just turn that on, and initially we'll just do, grab an image just to see what it looks like. Right, so I quite like the way that the uh, foreground is lit here, uh, but the background seems to have a bit of a hot spot here, uh, and the graduation, although it's good, it's not perfect. Now the way to um, eliminate that hot spot, uh, again, is all to do with the position of this light. So what I'm going to do is just move that back a bit, somewhere around here. And I'm just going to be, be pointing that vaguely at the centre of the card. OK, so without altering the energy in the head, uh, again, I've moved it back a fair way, um, so it will have less of an effect. Uh, so we'll just see where we are with that. OK, so that has toned down the hot spot. That's disappeared almost entirely and the graduation is starting to form across the back here, uh, but overall I think the exposure is a little low. So to address that, I'm going to do two things. The first thing is I'm going to add this reflector, uh, and I'm going to put this uh, on the front of the head, and we'll just pop that on there like that. Now this will do two things. This will concentrate the light, uh, but it will also increase uh, the apparent energy. Uh, so with just that on, and not changing the energy on the head, I'll just grab another image. OK, so that has taken it up ever so slightly. i go back to the other one. That's what we had before, and this is what we've got now. It's changed the graduation ever so slightly as well, so it's all going in the right direction, but I still think it's a little, uh, a little dark. So I'm going to add uh, another uh, couple of stops just to see what that does to the image. There we are. So I'll just take that again. There, that's uh, pretty good. Now I have um, the light at this side, which I'm liking the uh, tones in that. That's looking quite good. And it's dropping off as it's going across the background. So all told, that looks uh, pretty good to me. OK. So for the capture of this image, uh, that's it. Uh, there is nothing else to do. So what I'm going to do now is go into Photoshop and just do the minimum of post-production. So here we are. This is the image imported into Photoshop. So the first thing that I'm going to do uh, is just make a copy of the background image, or a duplicate layer, like that. And that way, um, I can uh, play with this uh, duplicate, and if I don't like it, I can just bin it and start again with the background already loaded. OK, so let's have a look around the image and see what might need doing. I don't think there's a great deal that needs doing to this at all. Uh, but one of the things that I'd like to address uh, are these highlights which naturally occur uh, within the uh, seed head of these flowers. Uh, they're caused by uh, little drops of uh, water uh, and they can just be a little distracting. So what I'm going to do is just using the spot healing tool uh, which is in here somewhere, there we are. Uh, just go over these, I'll just make that brush a little bit smaller, and a little bit softer, and we'll just take them out. Just like that. There we are. 
Let's move on to the others. And this one down the bottom here as well. OK, so with all that done, I'll just zoom back out again. That's what we've got now. That's what we had before. OK, that's good. Uh, now also, I can see that there is a, a mark on the background just here. I just zoom into that. don't know quite what that is, but we can get rid of that in the same manner. So I'll just use, again, the spot healing tool. Make the size a bit bigger. And we'll just paint that out like that. Super. OK, so with those few things uh, done, uh, I think really that is it. Um, I'll look at uh, doing a crop. I'm going to pick a ratio of uh, 16 by 9 uh, because it fits the videos perfectly. And also I think it lends itself to this sort of subject. Uh, and I think, uh, apart from just maybe pulling in the uh, handles ever so slightly off the edges, uh, that's about it. That looks pretty good to me. So I'll just click on OK. And there we have it. So that's my take on a light, dark, light image. So starting on the left-hand side of the image, uh, the background is quite light. Then we go on to the subject itself uh, and the left hand side of the subject is generally slightly darker than the right hand side. Uh, and that is contrasted against the background which has now gone dark. And by lighting in this manner uh, you can add some real interest uh, to the subject. And I think that's worked very well. OK, well, I hope you like seeing how I uh, made that image. And if you like watching these sort of things, do click on the other images as they appear. And don't forget to subscribe. Thank you very much for watching.